Hey, it's Jasmine. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Line, where I talk more about the lyrics behind my songs, um, specifically the ones that you sent in a request for. Uh, if you're watching this from the far future, it is the holidays 2022, um, so that's why there is a dollar store Christmas tree behind me. The song that I wanted to talk about today is a song called Flowers Bloom Upside Down off of my EP In Circles Now. This was the first song that I wrote uh, for this EP and it pulled me out of uh, some really tough writer's block um, and so it made sense to me to put it as the opening track. So I have some lines here that were requested. Um, maybe the most requested line was the first two lines of the song and maybe in the end our flowers will bloom upside down. This song started uh, in my kitchen at 1am. I had a picking pattern on the guitar and a little melody. At this point in time life was starting back up again um, post lockdown. I was feeling really behind in life, um, like I wasn't following this unspoken timeline of things that I wanted to happen or things that I thought I would accomplish in my late 20s. In my mind I was thinking a lot about uh, my younger self uh, as a teenager just always writing and dreaming about where I would be as an adult and I wondered if uh, my younger self would be proud of who I was now and I think I felt a sense of disappointment um, thinking about that. So this image of flowers blooming upside down uh, started as something sort of sad for me uh, initially when I was writing the song. Um, but in those moments of reflection, I was also thinking about some of the most beautiful moments in my life and career and relationships. And I think a lot of those experiences have come from an unexpected place or um, or places where, you know, I didn't necessarily plan for. So within that sadness, I also felt a sense of relief and comfort knowing that um, there isn't a lot of control we have over what happens to us um, in, in our life. As I was writing this song, the metaphor of flowers blooming upside down turned into more of a release of expectations and uh, following plans exactly as we think they're supposed to go um, and and realizing that you know you're still growing into something that you can be proud of oh can we shake this off this daylight covering all we fought to keep in darkness in this line i was thinking a lot about uh the plans that we would make as kids uh we'd be married by 25 have kids by 30 uh live in a penthouse in manhattan or uh, whatever it, it was that we would dream about our lives as kids and um, wanting to protect those dreams and those plans and not wanting any of that to change because you've been holding on to these plans for so long. And maybe it's the truth, skies will always be a shade of blue and the birds can stay on ground and our feet can sink into the clouds. This is me acknowledging through symbols of nature <laughs> that things aren't supposed to go one way. Um, the things that we are used to aren't the only ways that things can unfold um, in our lives and um, and when they kind of happen differently than what we expected it's it's almost uh, it's almost even more uh, worth it or more beautiful <laughs> tell me something about the rain is it moments away in a lot of pieces of literature rain symbolizes change and so with this line i was feeling a lot of stagnancy in my life and a yearning for change similarly to how rain helps flowers grow <laughs> um, i was desperately wanting to uh, feel any type of change uh, in my life uh, as a signal that i was moving forward in some way tell me something about the sun is it growing inwards on us we think of the sun as sort of an external um, object that gives us hope, gives us light, and helps us grow. Um, but I, I think in in these moments when I was writing, I was thinking that um, in a lot of ways, the brightest, uh, the 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 way that we do move forward or feel like we're moving forward happens with perspective and happens from within us and um, and 
so this is me questioning where that light was for me. Maybe we don't know how far we'll go into our dreams, but all I know, my love, is we'll build a hill of strawberries. Yeah, I think these last couple of lines acknowledge the uncertainty that we have over what happens in our life and sort of accepting that uh, it is what it is <laughs> and we'll find out what's in store for us when it happens um, and sort of just letting go of uh, you know some of the plans that we have or some of the expectations we have um, and I think that really comforted me and this last line uh, building a hill of strawberries um, I have a song called strawberry mountain that I released in 2018 and it's a love song for my partner, but it's also a love song for the process and for the creative journey. In some ways, I feel like Flowers Bloom Upside Down is uh, a narrative extension of that song. Um, so it made sense for me to call back to it a little bit here. <laughs> That's Flowers Bloom Upside Down. Thank you for watching and sending in your line requests. Um, I hope to do more of these soon, and I wish you all a happy new year and happy holidays. Bye-bye.